Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn where today we are going to go on an adventure. We are going to go and do some exploring which is all very exciting indeed. We have our lovely little balloon to go and travel around in and I was wondering what did we make the kind of balloon canvas bit out of? Clearly it required a lot of material because you know it's quite a big thing, that's a person and that's a balloon so it's quite a big thing. It required a lot of materials, a lot of fabric, but what fabric did we use? What fabric down in our camp had those colours? Did we have fabric that was grey and white and a darkish blue and that kind of peach colour? What fabric did we have that looked anything like that? I'm not entirely sure. I think maybe some of our survivors had a secret supply of socks or whatever and they were keeping them hidden away from us and then eventually when we said hey we'd like to go and build a great big balloon so we can go and fly around like Phileas Fogg they kind of reluctantly handed over their secret sock stash and went there you go fine build a balloon out of them. I don't know what fabric we had that was those colours but whatever the case we have a lovely balloon there it is and it's all filled up and ready to go. So I think, before I forget to do this, because we all know I will forget, let's go and send somebody out on an expedition, shall we? So let's go over to here, expedition. So I think we have a couple of choices. We could either just go and do this one here, a little explore around. I think really it's a two hour travel time. What we do with that is, we kind of pop the balloon pretty much straight up above the camp and we just look around. We have a little look around, we try and find things that might be interesting, and then we come back down again. But that opens up more things for us to go and look at. But I think we have that over there, some thick smoke. So I think that was generated by a kind of random event type thing. So it's going to take 11 hours to get there, and that's going to expire in two days, seven hours. So we have to get a bit of a wriggle on to make our way over to there. And all we know is that a thick column of smoke is rising from the area. We don't know why, we don't know what's caused it, is it a spaceship, is it a forest fire, we have no idea at all. So I think we go and do that and now we have to pick a person to go and send. But I think we can only pick one because it says there, select a survivor, not select some survivors. So I think we can only send one person away. So who do we pick? I mean really, I think we can rule out Annette and we can rule out Vanessa because they're not very good at fighting and there might possibly be a little bit of a fighty situation going on because you know maybe there is it might be some hostile insects or a hostile kind of gang or something who knows so I think we need somebody who can possibly look after themselves in a fight because we don't know what's going to be out there so that leaves Ember and Nova and I think really Ember does a lot of the building around the camp doesn't she so if we send her away we might not get anything else done so I think possibly we send Nova out there Let's go and send Nova, and Nova's a tactical commander. Nova can assess the situation and work out what to do and all that kind of stuff. I mean, if there is a situation, it might just be somebody having a really, really big barbecue or something, I don't know, but I think we send Nova. So Nova will pick you, so send expedition. So we don't need to give you food or anything. We don't need to kind of load the balloon up with food and cake and drink and such like. We just send you away. Uh, okay, Nova off your pop. Is that it? I assume Nova takes a little bit of time to get ready. I assume Nova's got to take some basics. Surely you have to go and grab a few basic items. I mean, you've got your weaponry and such, which is good. Okay, so you're on an expedition. Let's watch what you do. So are you picking up a few bits and bobs? Right, you went over to there. So maybe... Oh, please don't chop Nova. She's on her way to an expedition. Have you got some food upon your person? Are you carrying any food? I don't think you are. That's a bit of a surprise. I thought they'd take some food. Maybe they've put you know, basic rations into the little kind of basket thing over there. But okay, so get time ticking on. Nova is now going to get in here. I assume she then shuts the back somehow. Please tell me that back bit closes. Oh, that's a little bit dangerous, isn't it? That wouldn't fly in current health and safety regulations. That's very dangerous. So the balloon does go up. I mean, how high does the balloon go? I have no idea. Um, okay, I can't zoom, hang on, how far can we zoom out? That's as far as we can zoom out. Oh, crikey, okay, we have to go back quite a long way to see where Nova's going. Okay, and then Nova heads off in that direction. I don't quite know how we're controlling where the balloon goes, because one of the main features of a hot air balloon is that it kind of gets pushed around by you know, the air currents and the wind and such. But maybe in the future, when this game takes place, hot air balloons work differently. It's a future hot air balloon. Right, and then it just kind of vanishes. So it's gone. 
Okay, Nova is on an expedition. This is all very exciting. Okay, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, what's happening back at the base? So Vanessa is researching. What are you researching? Electronics crafting. Okay, that's good. We want to get that done quite soon. Annette is making hats. Very important. And I think Ember is just fiddling about with the controls on the air conditioning. Now, hang on. Pause time a second. Quite a few people in the comments said that we are going to burn through our fuel very, very quickly indeed. And uh, yeah, it takes, is it 20 fuel to top it up? I think it lasts a couple of days. But right now, we don't need these things on. We don't need these things running. It's completely, utterly pointless to have them on because everybody's outdoors doing stuff. So I think we turn that off for now. So hopefully someone's going to turn that off. Ember is handling a campfire right now. Okay, so food is going to rot away. Please don't eat it, because that'd be silly. Okay, so you're going to go and turn that off, because, yeah, there's no point it being on, look. The rooms, I mean, will the rooms go back and get... Are the rooms going to get hot again? Ember is getting some food to eat. Ember, what food are you getting to eat? Because I think our food is going off. Um, Maybe there's some food over there which isn't going off. I'm not entirely sure. Ember, I would advise against eating the rotting food. That's going to be a poor life choice. Um, okay, let's see what you do. So I don't know what you've picked up. You ha you've picked up rotting food. Have you picked up... It says eating, but it's done like it's rotting there. Can we see what you've got upon your person? Um, I don't know. Uh, hang on. Don't eat raw food. Uh, cooked meals. But can we say don't eat cook meals that are mouldy because that would be silly um okay i'm not entirely sure let's watch and see what happens so you're going to come out here hopefully you've picked up a meal that isn't rotting because that would just be silly wouldn't it so you're sitting down here you're gonna have some food right it's not got green lines coming off it so i assume it's okay so let's make sure claim to be better at darts and a net oh they're having a nice little chat look because they're going around their business and there we go a hat box wonderful right so you're over here so I assume, uh, oh, stomach ache, stomach ache. So did you just eat some rotting food? Yes, you did. I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell you. If you go to eat some food and it's got like green clouds of grot coming off it, don't eat it. Just just make something else. Um, okay, right. That's not ideal, is it? The campfire is lit, so maybe we could make some more stuff. We could make some more. Um, I don't know. Is there a way to tell them to not eat rotting food? Is there a sort of a setting we can say to go, do you know what? If the food is, you know, horrible and covered in flies and maggots, maybe don't eat that food because it's clearly gone off. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay. So Ember's now tailoring. She's going to feel a little bit under the weather. And oh, now Annette's eating some rotting food. Right. Everybody is going to feel unwell. Everybody's going to feel very ill. People are in minor pain. I imagine there might be some vomiting at some... Oh, there you go. Yep, Ember's vomiting. Um, oh, gag reflex. Oh, so they're all kind of gagging at the sight of her vomiting. Oh, this is going very well, isn't it? Yeah, Nova leaves and everybody starts eating mouldy food. She's going to come back and be very disappointed. Insulted Vanessa's sense of humour. Good job, Annette. Very good job for the morale officer. Wonderful stuff. How do we know when Nova is where she's supposed to be. I'm waiting for something to pop up over here. Uh, oh, some of the insect meat rotted away. That's fine. Annette is cooking some proper food, which is good. We like that. That's wonderful. I mean, is it worth... Is it worth keeping the food in one of these rooms? Although we're not going to have the aircon on all the time, so the temperature's going to go up anyway. We do need, at some point, a proper little sort of... Uh, a little walk-in fridge type thing. A little bit like what we would have in the game that begins with R. That we're not allowed to mention when we play this game. Because that would be quite good. That would be quite good. But of course we can build proper fridges and freezers in this. So we might not necessarily have to have a walk-in room. We could just build a fridge. Which would make sense. And then a freezer to keep things a bit longer. Okay, let's see what we can do. So the big thing really is figuring out what we do on the expedition. Can we find anything out? Can't do that one. Um, and... Can't we do anything with that one either? Uh, okay, not really sure what we do with that. Ah, right, hang on. So a few people in the comments said that our schedule is a little bit rubbish. They said this schedule is a little bit daft. So what we should have is, we should have 
sleep at 10 o'clock, but then we should say have anything after that until six o'clock in the morning. So they're gonna go over here and then, so they're gonna to get to 10 o'clock and go to bed and they're gonna to go to sleep. But then we have seen, I think we saw it last time, I think some people woke up at about four o'clock. So they'd had enough sleep, they were fine, they were happy, they'd had a lovely night's sleep in a lovely bed. But then because we had set them to sleep, they weren't tired, they were just standing around doing completely nothing at all. So now if we tell them to sleep there, they should then go to sleep, get as enough sleep as you know, whatever they need, wake up at, I don't know, that time there, wake up at six, wake up at three, wake up at four, wake up when they've had enough sleep, and then they can go and do anything else. They could relax, they could go and do some work, they can just go and entertain themselves however they like. And then quite a few people said we should possibly have a little bit of time in the morning where they can also relax because apparently when they're working they're not going to eat so a few people have said i'm not entirely sure if that's correct or not i do not know although they were eating just then weren't they they were eating just then and it's only just turned six o'clock so they must eat a little bit they must eat when they get hungry but it probably isn't too bad an idea to just have a lovely hour of relaxing in the morning and then people might be doing other work and stuff anyway over here so i quite like that I think that's what we'll go with. So, I mean, they get four hours, four hours of relaxation time a day. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I mean, 12 hours of work a day. But yeah, we are trying to survive on a hostile alien world. So I think that's fair. Right, so get time ticking on. Now we've kind of meddled about with that. And that's punching a pole. Ah, here we go. Expedition update, thick smoke. Right, let's see what's happened. Is Nova coming back? I came across an unlikely sight. A bloodied person burning corpses on a bonfire. I can see both human and animal remains in there. The sight and stench are unbelievable. I am unsure what to do in this situation. You and me both, Nova. You and me both. That's not what I was expecting. Although we did kind of maybe think it might be a person setting fire to some, like not bodies, of course, like a bonfire, because like a campfire type thing. Um, okay, try talking to that person or get out of there very quickly. Right, Nova, remind me about you. Uh, okay, hang on, where's your things? They can't experience meltdowns or euphoria. That's quite good, happy about that. Where's your kind of traits and things? Are they in here? Ah, yeah. So um, they won't do research or observation tasks. But how good are you? Have you got like a social skill? You're incapable of intellect. Okay. Uh, but there's no kind of social skill in there. So I think, given that you are quite good at combat and you are armed with a shooty gun, possibly try talking to the person. Because they might say, oh yeah, I'm taking these people from the survivors over in the next village over. There's only one left now, ha ha ha. And we might go rescue them. So I think we have a chat with that person. So um, hang on a minute, let's do this, shall we? Try talking to that person. Please be careful, Nova. They got alarmed at my presence and ran away at a surprising speed. I looked around the bonfire, but didn't see anything of use, and the terrible smell finally convinced me to head back. Oh, great, so we went all that way for no reason at all. Brilliant. Okay, I suppose, you know, that's the risk. We don't know what's out there, and that one was a bit of a dud. Okay, never mind. What a weird encounter. Yes, indeed. So I assume Nova is now going to come back. I assume Nova's going to head home again, which is okay. Hopefully she gets back fine. So we should see the balloon landing kind of in the, what, early morning? Sort of, what, about eight, uh, no, seven o'clock-ish? So they will have all gone to bed. They'll then all wake up and then the balloon should come down. Okay, that's fine. That's all good. Right, I think what we might have to do as well, I think people haven't got any kind of major tasks going on so what we're going to do is we are going to go over here and we're going to start scavenging that bit of broken spaceship because again we might find more weapons and various other bits and bobs ah also people in the comments again thank you commenting people you're keeping this whole thing ticking over thank you um a few people said that annette actively doesn't like fighting so when she has to do some fighting and we keep giving her sort of the instructions to go and fight with her bow, she doesn't really like it very much. So possibly we should give her, maybe tell her not to have the bow and then give the bow to Vanessa because Vanessa would be better with it. Um, although, who's got the better fighting? She's got three and she's got zero. Why have we given her that? Okay, yeah, commenting people, I completely agree. Uh, we'll do that in the morning because I don't want to disturb their sleep now because they're all asleep. Uh, yeah, we need to do something with the carpets over here. A few people as well have pointed out 
that these rooms are quite big. The rooms are quite big for one person. They said, really, the rooms don't need to be that big. There's not that much stuff you can put in there. You can give them a little armchair and some tables and things, but really, all they need in their own bedrooms is the bed and possibly a window or something and the air conditioning unit in this particular map to keep everything nice and cool. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Uh, pause time. But yeah, so maybe we could do something to possibly shrink the size of their bedrooms. So if we just got another bit of... another bit of sort of uh, stone base over there... And then we shrank the room so they were three by five. And we get another room in there so they could each have their own bedroom. And it wouldn't be that much of a bother. We'd move the doors around and put a window on this side. But I think we could get that working. I think that is something that we could possibly do. It might even be worth doing it now. So let's get the kind of the base bit in. So where is it? So like that. So floor, stone flooring. And I like the stone floor. I think we should keep the stone floor. So bring it across like that so it's level with the other stuff so at 60 stone i think we've got loads of stone so that's absolutely fine so we'll try and get that put together and then yeah but there we go look that kind of proves that point so they've woken up at i don't know four o'clock and five o'clock they've had enough sleep but instead of just hanging around in their bedroom standing about because they've been told to remain asleep but they don't want to they then just go and do some other stuff which is actually quite good so we've got another couple of hours of work out of them which is useful but now they get relaxation time so I can all see it about. Aggressive animals, three. And Nova isn't here. Oh, botherations. Okay. Ooh, huge mantis. Oh, okay. They look a little bit funny. Although, that one is being attacked by some striped horned animals. Okay, whereabouts, whereabouts is this in the world? Where are we? So we're down here. So it's quite a way off. It's quite a way off. But yeah, how many are there? Three. So there's a couple. There's a couple in the woods, I think. There's two, yeah, sort of over there, look. And what's that? Huge mantis. Oh, there are just three huge mantises. Okay, but that one is possibly being attacked. So it'd be good if you could possibly beat this one up. If you could. Oh, that's joining in. Bloated insect is joining in the fight. Oh, this is brilliant. Okay, right. The mantis is being is being picked on. Hopefully that mantis will die, and we can only then have to deal with two of the animals. Um, oh, a lot of our things are rotting away. Um, how are we doing over here? I, I'm expecting the balloon to come down any second. Nova, can you please come back? Because we need you. Um, uh, shared a laugh with Vanessa. This is good. Annette and Vanessa getting on. And we're doing some building work over here. Uh, yeah, aggressive animals too. They've not attacked yet, though. We do get told when they're going to attack, but it's a bit unfortunate that Nova isn't here because <gasps> Nova's arrived. Nova's come back. Oh, Nova, welcome back. You might have to go and do some fighting in a second. And then Vanessa insulted a net sense of humor. Good job, you lot. Good job. I'm glad you're all getting on. Splendid. And we've researched electronics crafting. Okay, this is quite, this is quite big. So now we can go over to here. I think on the workbench, we craft one lot up no we don't craft that over there where do we make electronics the soldering bench there we go that's what we make electronics used for crafting of electronic components and advanced weapons okay so we will have one of those please and we shall just put it uh, put it there next to the crafting bench there we go somebody can get that done and i think we now just kind of have to wait until those things are going to come and attack us but at least we have nova back now at least we have somebody with a shooty gun that can go and fire at the big horrible mantis things. And one of them has been killed by the local wildlife, which is brilliant. So, uh, oh, hang on. We might not have to fight any of them. The local wildlife is just helping us out a great deal. I mean, it's not looking good for the bulky animals. They're also being a bit killed off. But look at that. At least they will have taken some damage. Please, oh, you're now, oh, right, okay, I don't like these mantis things. They don't look very nice anyway. And I think they're just... Oh yeah, look. It's killed both of them. Oh, you meanie. But we have no idea about how injured it is or whatever because we just can't tell. It's bleeding though. It is bleeding. And that one is just kind of wandering around over here. 
chasing after things. They look really unpleasant. I don't like the looks of those at all. Okay, right, we're going to have to kill them at some point. Okay, run time on nice and quick, and then we'll just wait for the attack. Okay, the attack is underway. There are, of course, only two of those great big mantis things attacking us, and I'm hoping that one of them is still bleeding and is therefore going to be quite injured. I'm hoping that's the case. Oh, hang on, I didn't swap your things around. Hang on a second. Um, yeah, just get rid of that. You have nothing. So you go and put that down, please. If you could do that now, Annette, that would be grand. Um, so you go and do that. N nice and quick, Annette, any time you like. We're going to get attacked by terrifying monsters any moment now, but it's okay. You just leisurely walk along over here and take forever. Okay, Vanessa, you need to pick that thing up. Pick up the short bow. I mean, yeah, we could... We could. What weapons could we make over here? The soldering bench. Uh, oh. Oh, hang on. The soldering bench needs power. Oh. Oh, botherations. Okay, right, hang on a minute. Right, we're going to pick that up and we're going to put it over here for now. Because we can. So let's just drop it next to the generator for now. That'll do. Uh, so it's built. We can just move it around. Um, and then Vanessa. Uh, yeah, you go and get your crude bow, please. And you two can draft where are they coming in from it's going to be sort of over there somewhere isn't it so you go and stand over here for now that's going to be good we do need some walls and things in we do need some basic defenses going on we've got nothing happening really i mean even if we had a tower we could just pop people up in a tower to then go quickly shoot at the baddies down the floor and um, right has vanessa got the thing right vanessa does have the thing so vanessa you can also come out and annette i know you don't like fighting but yeah, if we've got an extra person helping us fight, that's got to be a good thing. Right, so are they making their way toward us? They are. That one is bleeding. Okay, that's quite encouraging for us. They're taking their merry old time, though. Uh, okay, that one is coming through first, I think. So this one's coming through. I think the other one's over there, is it? Right, okay. Every hang on. No, not everybody. You three, not Annette. You three... Go and shoot at that thing, please. Because it's going quite slowly, I assume because it's injured. And if we can pick it off before it even gets to us, that would be fantastic. Okay, that's really good. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? This might be slightly trickier to defeat because it's not been injured. I don't think it's been injured. Although it is also walking very slowly. We are going to go and have a look at that as well. We are going to observe that. A few people in the comments have said, why aren't we observing the animals? I, just because I forget. I just forget. They're just animals wandering about. And I think, oh, that's nice. I forget to go and observe them. So we'll go and have a look at some of those, maybe. No, that thing is also bleeding. The other one is also bleeding. Okay, so if we could try and pick it off from a distance, that would be brilliant. So if we can just fire at it uh, from as far away as we can. Uh, a couple of good hits. We'll sort it out. And one more good hit perfect right that wasn't as tricky as i thought it might be but again we were helped by the lovely local wildlife good job local wildlife right so people are going to get some food you're going to do some tailoring of some shoes you're scavenging you're moving a bench somebody yeah could go and observe that thing that would be quite good and then if we could get some meat from them as well that would also be marvelous but here we go right you're observing the thing Oh, now Vanessa's got swarm fever bother rations. Oh, who's going to treat Vanessa? Can she treat herself? Can she can she self-medicate? I mean, she is a doctor. I would like to think that she could possibly do that. Right, Vanessa is awaiting treatment. So somebody needs to go and help her. Oh, and Nova's now asleep. So Nova must have... Yeah, of course she travelled all the way through the night, so she's going to be very tired. Uh, right, Annette's coming over to heal Vanessa. This is brilliant. How are we doing over here? Oh, you're butchering that. Did we observe it? Did we finish observing that one? No, we got bored of that. We got bored of looking at the big dead thing that tried to kill us. And now we're going to go and have some tea. Do you know what? Completely understandable. I'm with you on that one. That's fine. Enjoy the tea. Okay, one of the survivors was complaining about a lack of food variety. And do you know, I get that. That's absolutely fine. We're on day 29. And all we've had so far is veggie soup and meat soup. So it's a very soup heavy diet. Probably very healthy, very good for you, but not very exciting, I think, after 29 days of it. But we can make grain porridge, which I know isn't overly exciting in itself, but it's something different to eat. So maybe if we do make some of that, that might just make them a little bit happier, give them a little bit of variety going on in their diet. So I think, how much of that have we got? How much of the grain have we got? Oh, entirely zero. Okay, but... We have got a field of stuff over there, which I think 
given that it's all sort of lit up, is ready to be harvested. So maybe at some point we are going to have a lot of grain. So we could go and do this. I mean, let's do it until we have, just do four. Just do four lots of it. That'll be fine. So we're going to make meat soup. We don't need to make any more tea. Veggie soup, I think, is okay. Grain porridge, haven't got enough resources right now, but that's okay. Nova's having a bit of a walk around. Um, yeah, Nova, your sort of, your times are all messed up, aren't they? Your sleeping patterns are all over the place because you were in the hot air balloon thing. But okie doke. And hang on a second, come down here. Let's have a look at what we can craft over at the soldering bench. Electronics. Yeah, okay, so 10 silicon and 10 metal alloys. So we've got 42 metal alloys. Where is, where's the silicon resource? How do we find where that is? Um, that's fabrics and cloth. Crafting, 60. We have 60 silicon. Okay, so how about we always make sure we have two bits, two electronic like boards around. That'd be quite good. Just a couple of circuit boards just lying around, which has got to be a good thing. And then if we can get that done, we could then unlock the secrets of solar power and wind turbines and maybe even batteries at that point. And then we can kind of move away from the diesel generator thing. Oh, I forgot to turn it back on. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't be trusted with buttons on things because I forget. Okay, never mind. So the rooms, actually, you know what? 25 degrees C indoors, 23 outdoors. I suppose, yes, it's got two people in it and they're making it warm. But okay, I forgot to switch that on at bedtime. Sorry, everybody. I completely forgot. That's why we need it either on a timer or we need it powered by you know, solar power. And then I don't have to worry about fuel and such like. So, uh, okay, oh, hang on. Research is advancing thanks to my efforts. Discovery, scissor hands. Okay, so Edward scissor hands is over here. Right, you are, we're gonna butcher Edward. Right, what do we get? I have seen huge genetically engineered mantises in a zoo once, but this creature is something else. The scissor hands, as I've named it, I can't think why, has razor sharp front legs, which shred its victims into pieces in an instant. Its four legs make it fast and agile, not that we saw, traits which get further enhanced by its remarkable senses. Upon closer examination, I deduced that its antennae assist in detecting movement around it. So now that we've done that, if we wanted to, we can research taming of scissor hands, so we can have our own tame, gigantic, terrifying mantis creatures, and with 40 stone, and we have it quite a lot of stone, we can build a statue to those things. I'm not entirely sure I want a statue of one of those. I wouldn't mind though, a statue of a dog. Is that a thing that we could do? I think we can do that. And we overlooked it. Hang on. So a statue. What about a large statue? Oh, that's just a scissor hands. A statue of a dog. I mean, it's better than having a statue of those scarabay things because the scarabay things and the scissor hands things, they want to, you know, kill us to death quite a lot of the time. Whereas the dog, I don't think the dog wants to kill us to death. So how about with 20 of our stone, we just put a little dog statue. Maybe, let's put it there for now. Just pop it right there. And they can go and look at the dog statue. That'll be quite nice. Right, so get time ticking on. Vanessa has woken up doing more research. That's very good, that's very diligent of you. Veggie armor is now what we're looking for, which is probably quite a good thing because yeah, armor is gonna be quite useful. Old equipment, okay. Do we need to replace some stuff? Clothes and weapons lose their integrity over time and during combat. Eventually they will become unstable, sorry, unusable, and get destroyed, leaving your survivors vulnerable. Clothes, yeah, okay, we're on it with the clothes. I think we're okay with clothes. So what have we got? We've got four spare hats, two jackets and two spaceship jackets. They're no use, really. Uh, we've got one lot of summer shoes, got some sneakers and boots and things. I think you know, stuff is being queued up over here to work on that. I think maybe we're out of materials, possibly. Are we out of materials? Um veggie leather for the shoes although we might want to hang on veggie leather We've got 71 of that 38 cloth we might want to possibly start making all of our things out of cloth because the veggie leather in a couple of days time might be used for armor so possibly hang on so straw hats hey that's all we can do summer shoes cloth summer pants cloth and t-shirts cloth and not synthetic textiles because I think they're quite hard to come by so okay that'll do so hopefully we can get that done but yeah look we're harvesting this we are harvesting this and she harvested one thing and then went for a sit down because it's break time okay never mind discuss their ragged clothes with Vanessa we're trying our best I mean if that thing is ready to get harvested that would be quite useful is it worth 
finding some more of those things. Some more of the cotton plant thingamajigs. Can we sort of, I think we said double click. Uh, 11 cloth blossoms. They're all cut though. So we can't harvest those. Uh, the harvest isn't ready. Bother. Uh, what about over here? Are you friendly? Oh, you're a flathead animal. You are friendly. We like you guys. How about, yeah, 17 of those. We harvest all of those. We harvest all of that because that's got to get some good stuff. So, okay, we're over. Uh, hang on. Not all of these are ready to be. So I think it's one that we're harvesting. Oh, that's not quite as dramatic as I thought it might be. Harvest. Ah, oh, there we go. That's a few more. Right. And then can we sort of click over here? They're not ready to harvest. Any over there? No. I mean, our own ones, it would be helpful if our own ones grew a bit quicker, to be honest. But never mind. We can't control that. That's all good. Right, get time moving on. Buttering scissor hands. Scavenging from a spaceship. And we're harvesting that. And we're doing research. Everything is going quite well. Very productive, folks. Good job. All right, hang on a minute. Hang on. Pause time. We have a few things to deal with. So clear all these things out of the way. That's all fine. Insufficient storage space. That is a little bit of a bother. So we can't store the grain stuff that's coming from there. Okay, so what can we do about that? Um, we could potentially build another kind of shelving rack thing over there. That would not be such a bad thing. Can we do that? Um, storage, that'd be better, wouldn't it? Storage shells, wooden shelf, and then just, yeah, put it like that, look. That'll do. So hopefully that'll cope for a while. That'll be okay. We could put another one there if we wanted. So they can store that on there. So that'll sort that out. Smoke signals. Large balls of smoke can be seen rising from a single location. This could be an alien phenomenon, or more likely, a human waving a blanket over a fire. Interesting. Unlocks the smoke signals expedition. Okay, Nova, I think you know what you have to do. It's time for you to go ballooning again. Um, yeah, go and do that one right now. Go and do that immediately. Nova, uh, it's only four hours to get there. Four hours. That's quite near. You might be back by the end of the day. Yeah, send an expedition. Do that really quickly. I'm hoping we can find somebody else. <gasps> and there's the dog statue. We've got the dog statue. Hello. Oh, that's lovely. A cool decoration. Yes, it is. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Okay, that's quite exciting. And then, yeah, you're going to head off in that direction. Cheerio. Have fun ballooning over there. Not going to take too long at all. And uh, yeah, if we could get these shelves done, that means we can store this stuff on the shelves. Right, I think it's being moved over. I think... Uh, oh no, hang on. We're just storing grain in big piles. Just big armfuls of grain over here. But that is good because we can now make porridge with that. And also, we can make antibiotics. I think we're making some vegetables right now. But yeah, look. Until five. So how about... We've got three in stock. So we should potentially do some more of this. Ooh, hang on. We scavenged a new thing. We lost... Uh, the following plants have lost their yield. Oh no! Oh, botherations. Okay. Either the plants are just dying or something is eating them. But okay, so we can't go and harvest that. That's okay. Um, a synthetic vest. A durable armor piece. Made of synthetic textiles. Reinforced with a metal frame. Oh, okay. So we've got a fancy new bit of armor going on. Right. That's never a bad thing. That's going to be quite handy to have. Uh, if we get into some more scrapes or whatever, that's going to be fine. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Smoke signals. I found a survivor. Oh, this is very exciting. Okay, welcome them to our camp. Talas joins, plus 18 happiness. Another mouth feed, leave them behind, minus 10 happiness. What kind of person would we be if we went over there, found another survivor, and, you know, in dire straits, we're like we are, but they are on their own by the look of it. And then we just went, nah, it, it's fine. It's lovely to meet you, but I'm just going to go back to our camp now where we've got air conditioning. Cheerio, enjoy the big monsters. We have to welcome them in. Otherwise, we've lost our humanity and what's the point of doing all this? So, welcome them to the camp. Absolutely. Okay, we need another bed and Talas has joined. Talas Wabel. Okay, hang on. Pause time. We need to assess you. So, what are you like? Let's have a quick look. Um, so, social. Hang on. Best at intellect and combat. Okay, so you're potentially quite... Hello, how do we find out what your things are? Um, okay, great mood, no risk of meltdown. You're on expedition. Right, combat three, construction one, 
Not bothered about cooking, but other people can do that. Crafting, two. Farming, nothing. Healing, two. Intellect, five is good. Physical, three is good. And then profile. Here we go. Hard working. Oh, this is very good. Has 25% more movement speed and manipulation efficiency. So you move quicker and you can do things with things quicker, I think. You can pick things up quicker and what have you. Um, healthy plus 100 health recovers health twice as fast. And you're a glutton, you get hungry 25% quicker. Because I imagine you've got some sort of super quick metabolism type thing. Which is why you're always healthy and why you're quite good at doing the hard work stuff. Um, and your favourite... Hang on, they've got favourites. Relaxing in armchairs. Have they got little favourites? Hang on a minute, I never noticed that. Uh, oh no, I think I did. I think I did, but I never looked at everybody's favourites. So Annette likes Ratatouille and appreciating decorations. We now have a decoration of a dog. That's good. Ember likes buttermelon pie. Can we make buttermelon pie? And target practice. Nova likes Ratatouille and punching practice. Ah, okay. That's what that does. Vanessa <laughs> likes a drink okay and talas loves relaxing in armchairs i mean I, if i had to choose any of these i'd probably choose buttermelon pie and relaxing in armchairs i could sit in the chair and have some pie what more could you possibly need uh right because you're here we are going to need another bed which is fine we can do that we can get that sorted uh wooden fabric bed we'll pop that in there for now yeah, I do want to kind of modify this a little bit. We need to change this around ever so slightly. The only thing is, I'm not sure how we do it. So let's do it one room at a time. But don't do it now, because it's the end of the day. So we'll wait until I think they've landed. We need to get that bed put together pretty quickly if we could. Uh, what's everybody doing? Where is everyone? Oh, you're harvesting the cotton stuff so we can make proper clothing out of it. That's really good. Oh, hang on a second. Have we got to do your stuff? Yes, we have. Right, so, yep, you're the same as the others. There we go. And then in terms of activities, right, so you, so heal, put you as two. Uh, your healing is two. Okay, that's not so bad. Handling. Okay, do you know what? Because you move around quick, you can do that. That can be your main thing. You can be the person that lights torches and fuels things up and opens windows. You can get all the big jobs like that. Constructing, you've got one. So I put that as two. Hunting, you're actually okay. You're not too bad at fighting. So leave that as three. Harvesting, maybe put that as a... as a, I mean, a net signal that can do any kind of farming at all, which is a bit of a shame. Put that as a four. Cutting... Uh, that's like chopping down trees, isn't it? Yeah, you're okay at that. You can leave that as a three. Ranching, we'll put that as a five. Planting, that can be a five. Scavenging, uh, do you know what? Two for that. Mining, put two for that as well. Cooking, maybe drop that down to four. Only do it if you have to. Crafting, you're not too bad. Put that as two. Tailoring, put that as two. You can get better if you practice. Assemble, what's that? Using electronics. I mean, that might be quite handy. We'll leave that on three for now. Observing, yeah, you're really clever. So you can go and do that, please. Researching, one. And deliver, we'll put that as two, because you're quick. So if there's nothing to kind of move around or whatever, if there's no goods to shuffle you around, you can go and do some research. Okie doke, this is very good. Now, where are they? Where are they? The balloon has got to come back. Oh, Vanessa's got ill again. Okay, you've got... You've got swarm fever, okay. I thought this had been treated. I thought the swarm fever had been treated. Um, requ ah, requires one final treatment course. Okay, so Ember, Ember's coming over here to treat you and boop, immunity. Right, all sorted, no need to panic, stand down everybody. Um, really, I'm quite concerned about the balloon. Oh, there we go, the balloon. Okay, this is good stuff. The only thing is, um, Right, hello, hello Talas, how are you? Uh, ha are you having a fun time? Would you like to build a bed? Construct your own bed. I do apologise, this is where the stuff is, um, and this is where the bed's going to go. Everybody else is going to go to sleep. I do apologise about this, but uh, yeah, you're going to have to build your own bed. We, we tried to get it ready, but somebody was ill, and you know, various other things happened. I looked at a butterfly, and I kind of forgot. So you do that, please. Okie doke. And then assign owner... And Talas can go and have that bed. 
Okie doke. There we go. Happy with that. You're ravenously hungry. Uh, have we not? Oh, there's no food prepared at all. Good job, folks. Good job. Uh, you should be making meat soup. We need some... We need some sticks to... Hang on. Talus is scavenging. Hang on. It's two o'clock at Talas. Did I not do your schedule? I did do your schedule, but you're just carrying on anyway. Okay. <laughs> do you know what? You crack on, my good sir. It's fine. Uh, quite a lot of stuff is going to rot away, and Vanessa is going to possibly have a meltdown because you're also researching. Uh, another survivor joined. Yay. But you're starving. Oh, yeah. The starving isn't good, is it? The starving isn't good. Okay. If we can make it through to the morning. Hopefully Annette can then start cooking various bits and bobs. We can get some meat soup on the go, get some grain porridge on the go, get some veggie soup, and then we'll have loads and loads of stuff to eat. But hang on, what's Talas eating? Uh, what's that? What, what is that? I don't know what that is you're eating, Talas. Did you bring that with you? Have you bought whatever that is with you? Like a jar of, I don't know what that is, a jar of something. I'm sure it was delicious. And now he's transporting stuff. Okay. We're up to five survivors. That's very good. That's really good. And I don't think we have that many days until we're going to go into the red season, which could be a little bit of a bother, couldn't it? That could be a bit troublesome. How are we doing with making electronics? Have we done that? Oh, hang on. If we've done that, does that mean that we can now unlock the secrets of... Hang on, where's research? I want to go to research. Can we now start looking at stuff over here? Um... CPU assembly, okay, but solar panels. I thought, did we not, did I, hang on, did I do that wrong over here? Craft that, do until we have two. I thought that's, hang on, no, the order's there. They just haven't done it yet. Oh, okay, somebody please go over here and do this. <laughs> can you please do that? Because then we can research exciting things. And also, can we please make some food? Because everybody's gonna get very angry very soon if we don't have any food. Who should be cooking? Hang on, Annette, I'm going to order you to go and cook some meat soup, please. Go and do that immediately right now, because people are starving. Yeah, Vanessa's actually literally starving. So if you could do this, please. She's frantically researching, take her mind off the fact that she hasn't got any food. Right, there we go, there is food. Vanessa, you can now go and have some food. Vanessa, I'm going to order you to eat. So go to here, that soup is reserved okay hang on how many have we got one meat soup uh who's reserved it we're gonna we're gonna change things around here nova okay nova you're not going to go and do that instead you are going to come over here and turn i want you to craft at the soldering bench is the soldering bench not on control circuit it's consuming nothing. Oh, because that's not switched on. Penge, you buffoon. Um, hang on. Turn that on. And that means Nova, you can then go and handle the diesel generator, which means Vanessa, you can then go and eat the meat soup. So you're not going to starve to death. Um, yeah, people are getting very hungry. Uh, right. That's going to tick back up. Vanessa has now eaten some food. This is good. Talas is cooking. This is good. What are you cooking? You're cooking some more meat soup. Okay. And we've scavenged a huge pile of fuel and another one of those kind of defense vest things. Um, okay. I think, how much fuel do we have now? We've got, where is it? 230. I think we can leave that on for a little while. We can leave that on. Um, not enough power. Why not? Hungry pests. Um, oh, okay. Starving scarabay. Um, they're going to come by the 12 of them. Oh, that's not good, is it? Okay, right. Talas, you need some sort of weapon type thing. Can we go here? Can we craft you a crossbow? Yes. Can we please make a few of those? I mean, if we could get three of them, that would be fantastic. Why have we not done that yet? Why have we not done that? Um, okay, that sounds like a really good thing to do. Has everybody eaten food? Is everybody now okay for food? Um, can we see how we're doing for that? Fullness, right, okay, so 91, 95, 98, 87, 51. Okay, but that's okay. Food is at least being made. 
Okay, so at some point, we're going to have to deal with some hungry pests. I think Annette's going to finish off the final bit of research, which is good. So hopefully you can finish that. Then we'll stop researching. So we can make veggie armor. And now... Oh, partial fail. Somebody failed to make some stuff. Uh, and now we can just leave it, I think. I can leave things for a while. No queued research. That's okay. I'm all right with that for now. I'm going to wait for the hungry insects to come by and try to eat all of our things. I mean, that would be a nuisance, wouldn't it? If they ate that, that would be particularly irritating. How are we doing for clothing now? Uh, four hats. We've got synthetic vests going on. We've got, yeah, three lots of summer shoes now. That's really good. Can we take apart the other things? Can we sort of dismantle, if we didn't want the spaceship jackets? Oh yeah, dismantle. Yeah, for 40 far Oh, this, that's very good. Yeah, we don't want those. Um, because yeah, they, they, hang on, they increase our heat tolerance. Maybe we, do we want to keep those? Heat tolerance increase of four degrees. Okay, the spaceship jackets seem to be quite good. Which is a surprise, I'll be honest. Well, that's that stuff. You're eating sweet syrup. Okay, so keep the spaceship jackets. Maybe they're not too bad. Um, yeah, heat tolerance increase. Four degrees C. What does that mean? It, it gives us a more heat tolerance, or it increases the heat tolerance, which means it's got less range. I'm not entirely sure, but okay. Uh, nothing over there. Where's all our other things? Where's all the things we don't want? Right, those look. So, synthetic boots take those apart. Sneakers, take those apart. Don't need those. Oh, this is great. We can just get rid of all the rubbish stuff. Uh, that is a big part of resources. That's absolutely fine. Anything on here? Um, heat tolerance decrease. Okay, jackets are bad. Get rid of jackets. Summer shoes, good. We like summer shoes. Then go to here. Then go to there. That is... Um, oh, hang on. Click on the right thing would help, wouldn't it? That's all. Fine. Hang on. Click on the same thing again, and am I clicking on the right things? I'm not in touch. I think that's it. That, that's that whole kind of shelving unit, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so get rid of the jackets. That should be okay. Uh, just the, yeah, those jackets, but not the spaceship jackets, because apparently the spaceship jackets are quite good. Why aren't we wearing spaceship jackets? Hang on a minute. Are they things we've found? Uh, why are we not wearing those? Okay, so jacket, spaceship jacket. We've got two of them. We've got, uh, I mean, the synthetic vests are quite good. Heat tolerance increase, five degrees. That's good, isn't it? Okay, Ember, your hat's wearing a little bit thin. It's okay, we'll sort that out. You kind of get stuck in there with fighting. You can have a synthetic vest on. And Nova, you can have a spaceship jacket. And then Talos, you might do some fighting. You've got a spaceship jacket on. Oh, hang on, you need a hat. Oh, no, we're going to need to increase our sort of amount of things we've got. We're going to need to have different things. Uh, also, synthetic boots. Uh, have some light summer shoes, my good sir. Have that, and that's all you can have right now. But you can equip some nice things, that's fine. Um, okay, uh, Vanessa, you might need a spaceship jacket to sort out your heat tolerance. Okie doke, right, so people are going to start putting on jackets and things, which seems a little bit weird, I'll be honest. Seems a little bit strange. Uh, right, let's wait for the insects to attack. And then we'll all club together. Talas. Don't know what we've got right now. We have no weapons of any kind. So how about, Annette, you change that to nothing. So you unequip your weapon. And then Talas, you go and grab a spear. Because at least that gives you something to fight with. Okay, there we go. So Annette is unarmed. That's fine. The hungry pests are just sort of lurking around over there. I mean, do we go in and attack them? I kind of feel like we should do the attacking here. So, you four, draft you four, and if we could just get the jump, I mean, if we need to get one of them while they're not looking, if we just creep up on some unsuspecting bugs and go boo and shoot at them, they're only the little thing, so we should be okay. Right, that one is nearer. So, okay, right, that one's been picked off. We're down to 11. So, yeah, just sort of, here we go. Just, just, hang on, no, shoot at that one then. If that one's nearer, commence shooting. Right, now they're all scattering, which is a bit of a nuisance. Possibly should have waited for them to attack us, but never mind. Can we get a shot in on this one? Can somebody shoot at it? Oh, that was, a, whoever did that shot was great. Okay, animal attack was underway. Um, 
Not entirely sure where they all are, though. Can we go after you? They're running away. They're legging it out of there. Uh, okay, do you know what? We'll come back. We'll just come back and stand over here and wait. They're going to come and attack us eventually because they're hungry. So we'll just wait for them to come and attack us. Although this is cutting into bedtime. This is ruining our sleep. We all need our beauty sleep. So it'd be quite good if you would just hurry up and attack us, insect friends. I think they're all kind of coming back now. I saw something creeping in over here. Yeah, I see you there. Let's run back out over here and do some shooty shooting at you, look. That should be nice and simple. Talas is well up for this. He's like, yeah, I'm going to get it with a spear. Look at me. I don't care. Um, hang on. There's another one over there. Can we run in over here and just get these guys? There's one there, look. Get you. Hungry pest. So, piao, piao. Shoot at you, shoot. Uh, yep, good. Shooting. Very nice. Come back over here. And, it's it, yeah, we have chosen to attack them at night time, which is a little bit of an issue. It is quite dark. Uh, there's only five of them left. So let's pick off the final five of them, shall we? So, yeah, there's one, there's four. Then we're going to be down to possibly three, if we can catch that one up. Go on, Talas. <laughs> Talas is running after it. Cue the Benny Hill music. Um, okay, it's quite quick, this bug. It's quite a quick insect. And are we going to catch up with it? I mean, we're going to be in a different part of the world soon. Uh, animal attack one. And there we go, that's all done. There's only three left. Uh, where are they? Uh, over here, apparently. Really? Where? I can't, I can't, uh, there's one there, hiding in the, in the grass. Okay, right, everybody, charge. Yeah, hunt starving scarabay. Go and, go and try and hunt that thing, please. And I think one ran over there. So the final three are over here, but we are quite a long way over there. Oh, hang on, we've not... Oh, hang on, I've deselected everybody. Hang on, right. Run back. Hang on, yeah, go and get that one, actually. Go and get you. Go and do that, please. Uh, yeah, where are we? Attack that thing. Everybody shoot to shoot you. And then, yeah, there's only two left then. And then it'll be fine. Hunters without ranged weapons. Oh, no. Have our pistols kind of given up? That is a problem. That is a bit of a technical issue. If our pistols are broken, that's a bit of a nuisance. Okay, right. Okay, fire at you. And then there is one more. Don't think it stands much of a chance. Okay, everybody undraft. How are the guns looking? That's looking fine. That's looking fine. Oh, I think it was just saying that they didn't have range. But oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. The guns are fine, game. And... Ember's doing some butchering. In fact, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Uh, yeah, butcher all those, please. In fact, can we do some more over there? Butcher those as well. There we go. Hang on, there's some over here. Can we can we get that one as well? Lovely. Right, you go and do that, please. And then I'd like everybody, if they could, to go to bed for just a short amount of time and then wake up in a few hours. Although Ember might not actually get to bed in time because Ember's now going to do some butchering of an animal. Okay, Ember, fine, you just go and do that. No need to go to sleep or anything. Okay, so I think we're just about ready to wrap things up for today. But before we do finish, I would like to commission the building work over here so we can at least get some more bedrooms in because the initial plan that we talked about earlier was to split that bedroom into two and that bedroom into two and then we'd have four bedrooms for our four original survivors. But of course now we have Talas, we've got another survivor. So we are going to need a little bit more foundation to build another bedroom for them. And then I'm thinking the game might give us another survivor at some point. It's been quite generous to give us one right now, 30 days ish in we got another survivor. So at some point I think we might get another survivor. So we'll be up to six, which will be quite good. So we might as well build another bedroom over here as well. So there'll be three along here and three along here. So we'll have five bedrooms for the five survivors right now, and then just a spare one, just a spare one ready for somebody to move into if that moment occurs. So I think we're going to need to get some more base kind of set up, some more kind of foundation. So let's go over to here and we'll get that done. So hang on, floor and get the stone floor. Now, the only thing is, have we got enough stone to do this? So that's going to be... Hang on, that was to make the bedrooms that way. So yeah, this is going to be another three, isn't it? So it's going to be like that. 228. Yes, we can definitely do that. So I think once that's done, we'll get that in. That's where the bedrooms are going to be. And then we get another you know, big area of that zoned out. So we're going to need a lot of stone. We're going to have to go and harvest much stone from everywhere 
So we can go and grab it from wherever we can find it. Over there, possibly. There's going to be a lot over there. And then we just build a great big bit along here. And then we can have a little kind of relaxation area. Maybe we can walk down here, have a little kind of fun relaxing room with all different things in, have the darts inside and such like. And then we can have a crafting room and a research room and a storeroom and a kitchen. And it can all be in this kind of one big long base type thing. That might be a little bit better. That might be a better way of doing things. And eventually all that stuff here will be moved over there. And then we could possibly move that out over here, get some walls and things in. But okay, so we'll do that and then... I think, really, I don't quite know how to do this bit because we need to add a little bit across here. We need to kind of break that into two individual rooms, which I'm not entirely sure how to do if I am being completely honest. So how about right now, if we're going to split that down there, so it's going to be three wide. I think that should be OK. So three wide is going to be it's going to be plenty. It's going to be OK. So we're going to split these up. So how about we get uh, housing so we can start with the doors. Let's get a plank door. So if we just put the doors at the end. So like that. So one door there. And then possibly should have held the thing down. Right, get a door. And get another door there. And then we can build a line, like a wall through the middle. But then they're going to be too wide. So now we're going to need to go over here and just build some individual wall bits. But how is that going to work with the roof? Because surely the roof is then going to look really weird. So, okay, we'll, we'll have to play this by and see what happens. So, okay, so planks and, okay, rotate it round so it looks good. Okay, and then bring that across like that and then pop that in like that. My only concern is that when they build that, they might possibly sort of entomb themselves in, which would be a little bit silly, but okay. Right, so get that bit of wall in and then do the same again over here. So like that, rotate it around, so click like that, click like that, and put that there. Okie doke, right, so they can then build that bit. So doors going in, the door for those sort of second bedrooms already exists, that's going to be the extension to the bedrooms, just there. That's going to be quite good, and then that's going to be the new base, and then when that's in, we build another two individual rooms, and then we'll see how the roofs work. I don't quite know how the roof is going to work. And of course, the corridor bit doesn't have a roof either. We'll try and sort that out. But I think for now, that's pretty good. Let's just make sure people know their order. So what are people up to? That five survivors. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Talas is going to appreciate the dog statue. Now, what does that do for you? This is quite good. So you're having a look at it. You're having a... Cra oh, look at that. You're having a crazy old time. With it. Oh, you're loving the dog statue. You're, oh, he's, okay, right, maybe you're enjoying it a bit too much. <laughs> okay, it's a statue of a dog, right? Uh, okay, no, you are you are really enjoying it. And appreciate decoration, plus 18. Plus 18. That is very good. Right, wonderful. So, Vanessa's having a rest. We've got Nova who's doing tr some transporting stuff. I assume it's meat from over here. That's good. We can get some more food on the go because, yeah, we only have one lot of meat soup right now. Annette's cooking some more food. Ember's actually doing some building work already. And Talas is going to dismantle some old stuff that we don't want anymore, which is brilliant. So I think with that done, we will wrap things up for now. And then next time we'll come back, get the new kind of bedroom sorted, get everybody into their own bedroom, which would be fantastic. And then possibly if we could, we could try to figure out how we do this. Because the soldering bench says not enough power. Um, I'm not entirely sure how we make that work. I don't know how we do that. I mean, is it plugged in? Is that plugged into the... Th I don't know how we do it. So um, the metal pole, consumers, the soldering bench is connected. It's plugged in. So I don't quite know what's going on with that. So we'll try and work that out as well next time. So plenty to do when we come back. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Stranded Alien Dawn. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Look at Swain's hat. Oh, it's worth it just for the hat. Oh, it's so pointy. Oh my goodness me. Okay, right, we might have to deploy the decency mugs there. <laughs> Things are going to get a bit weird, everybody. Book yourselves in. I am in the throes of ecstasy, aided by a shoe. He's kept his hat on. <laughs>